Standby for manual transmission in three, two, one. Hey everyone, Manus Dextra here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the dead zone problem many people have with their brake pedal for the Thrustmaster T3 MP racing pedal set. Just to be clear, these are the three pedal sets that come bundled with the T248 racing wheel or can be obtained on their own as an upgrade and replacement for older Thrustmaster pedal sets. First, I'll show you how to recognize this problem in game. Then I'll show you how to confirm whether you have this problem or not with Thrustmaster's software. And finally, I'll show you how to fix the problem if you do have it. So let's get to it. All right, so if you have this issue, you'll know because your brakes just won't be sensitive at all. Tapping them won't do anything. You'll need to press them quite a bit for any noticeable braking, and by the time you do notice, your brakes will probably already be locking up. If your brakes are acting like this in game and you've been struggling to find the cause, you probably have this dead zone issue. You can confirm this by firing up your Thrustmaster wheel software and checking the brake input directly. If you're able to move your brake pedal very much without seeing any change to your brake signal, this is a problem. In my case, I was able to depress my brake by about three-eighths of an inch before seeing any signal change. This is way too much for effective brake control and there's no way to fix this via software. This problem is due to a manufacturing defect. The good news is it's pretty easy to fix, but it will require you to open the pedal set housing and replace a missing part inside. So if your pedals are new, you should probably just return them. Now, I'm not going to go over the disassembly procedure in detail. It's pretty straightforward. You'll need to remove the metal plates from the uh, pedal arms and then flip the whole thing over and remove every little Phillips head screw you see. There are only about 25 or 30 of them. Once that's finished, you can flip the whole thing back over and completely remove the top cover to reveal not much, quite frankly. The electronics consist of three Hall Effect sensors that probably cost less than $10 total and not much else. The balance of the unit is made of molded plastic and a bar of scrap metal to add that illusion of substance Thrustmaster is famous for. At this point, all you need to do is pop the spring out to release tension on the uh, brake pedal arm and then push out the pin it pivots on. You should be able to do this easily with a small screwdriver as it's just a press fit. Once you have the pedal arm removed, it should look like this. In my pedal set, you can see there's a rubber pad missing on my brake pedal slot as compared to my accelerator. That missing pad is on the brake arm forward stop. Without it there, the brake pedal arm sits too far forward and causes a large gap between the pedal arm and magnetic sensor at the beginning of the pedal stroke. And this is what causes the dead zone. In order to fix it, all we need to do is find a suitable replacement for this pad. I ended up using a piece of cork washer I had from an old camera mount, but anything with a bit of spring and the right thickness should do the trick. If you don't have anything else, you could probably make a new pad from one of the large rubber pieces on the underside of the pedal set itself. Whatever you use, just be sure to test it out before gluing it in and putting everything back together. With the new pad in place and the pedal arm and spring reinstalled, you should be able to see a signal from the brake as soon as you move the pedal. If you're getting a signal before you move the pedal, your pad is too thick. And if you still need to move the pedal a lot to produce a signal, your pad is too thin. Once you've found a pad of the proper thickness, just glue it in and reassemble. 
Now your brakes should be a lot more responsive and easy to control. So if you were having this problem, I hope my solution fixed it for you. And if it did, you can express your gratitude in one of three ways. First and most preferable, you can express your gratitude by hitting that thanks button down below and slip me a couple of bucks for showing you how to fix your expensive pedal set. Now, I know things are tough all over and if you just can't spare the cash, there are a couple of other things you can do. If you're an asshole, I'd consider it a personal favor if you'd stop being one. You know, just on the off chance we ever run into one another. If you're a cool, normal person, just pay it forward and do something good for someone else when you get the chance. Oh, and if you're an asshole, you just go ahead and pay it forward too, since that's a good way to not be an asshole anymore. Anyway, that's all I got. So uh, you kids, run along now and get the hell off my internet lawn. And until next time... now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation.